Hey guys, I'm going to be doing these videos about every once a week to every once a month. Um, I'm gonna show you some pictures that are coming, that is coming from our street um, evangelists um, from St. Paul Street Evangelization. And I am basically going to explain to you what's going on in the photo. So I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Here Steve and Father Francis pray with a gentleman on the street. Father Francis is blessing the Bible that the gentleman brought up to us. This was just after Steve had been showing him in it about Peter and the keys in Matthew 16 and its link to Isaiah 22. He also talked uh, to him about 1 Timothy 3.15 and the church being the pillar and foundation or bulwark of the truth rather than the Bible. The team also gave him a miraculous medal, which he affixed to his chain. Pray for this man on his journey, that God will water the seeds we planted. Here Father Francis is praying with two young adults who stopped by to chat. This man is a fallen away Catholic who had a very tough life. He was in a major car accident and was legally pronounced dead but miraculously survived. Steve gave him a miraculous medal and a rosary and discussed coming back to the faith with him. Father Francis, in his Dominican habit, was a visible sign that sparked many conversations. Once during our time out today, Father walked away from the group with a woman who walked to him, walked up to him to, to talk. They talked for a good long while and the woman left. When Father walked back, he said just one word, confession, praise God. Steve talked to two Mormons today. Um, one was a Mormon man who left Christianity. The man was surprised to learn that Steve knew so much about Mormonism and its teachings. Steve was able to spend about a half hour with him going through the Bible to discuss the Trinity and other doctrines that Mormons do not believe in. The discussion was excellent and the man left with a book and a handful of literature on the church that he promised to read. The other conversation that he had was with a former Mormon that left that sect recently. Catholicism always interested her and Steve had no problem discussing the proofs of the truth of the church established by Christ. The woman left with a bunch of literature and a rosary which she promised to start praying after Steve got done showing her how. Um, she has promised to call Steve to discuss it further when she is done reading the literature that he provided. Steve had at least five amazing talks today. One Catholic had stopped going to Mass for a few years, but for no good reason. Steve had a long conversation about giving his life back to Jesus and coming back into the church. Steve explained how when he came back into the church, it was the greatest blessing of his life. The man was very encouraged and excited and said he was definitely coming back starting this week and was going to go to confession ASAP. Praise the Lord. Lester had several fruitful discussions about the faith today. We find that so many know so little about spiritual things and when we discuss God we often have to start with the basics, say a prayer for our apostolate and for the conversion of the world. As Father Francis looks on, Steve is busy conversing with this gentleman who stopped by to talk. The conversation lasted about 45 minutes and many spiritual truths were discussed. This man is a self-proclaimed Gnostic. Steve tried to show him where his beliefs differed from the church and why the church should be believed. In the end, the man was not converted, although he did take a miraculous medal, a rosary, and a pamphlet on how to pray it. What may be best of all, he promised to pray to um, Our Lady, the memoir, again, you know, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, whenever he remembered. When a person calls for the help of the Lord's mother, she will respond. Pray for this man on his journey towards eternity. Lester passed out handfuls of rosaries today when 
we pass out a rosary, we ask if the person is Catholic to try to start conversation. If they are, we try to find out if they are practicing and discover what ways we can strengthen their faith. If they are not practicing, we gently nudge them to the confessional and back into the church. Steve has no problem discussing hell and mortal sin with them if necessary. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. While Lester discusses the faith with these two youths, Maria is busy explaining the rosary with this young man. She described to him how the rosary contained a meditation on the life of Jesus. It was not so surprising to us that this young man had so little knowledge about the faith and the rosary despite going to Catholic school.